for since guys I, it's so unprofessional come on i just faded in <laughs> i was gonna do it like oh i closed like, the dialogue hold on i closed the dialogue, screaming, hold on, I closed the dialogue and now it's not working <laughs> so, uh, so unprofessional guys shake my okay, goddamn so, head more of the story works is like we're gonna count in on three three <laughs> two and a half two and three quarters <laughs> i think there's also <laughs> two and seven eighths Hold on, let me let me go like back to black and then we'll and fade in naturally. I faded in, I was like, fuck <laughs> you. Let's fade out real quick and then we'll fade oh back into God, the proper. Okay. Count us in, count us in. You all yeah, look up at Roar. Oh, he God. stands and stuff one of the nearby buildings. <laughs> he clears his throat, looking toward all the- Okay, we're gonna fade out and then we'll fade back in, guys. Oh my God. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> go. You all look up at Rorik, who stands atop one of the nearby- Nah, that one was not you guys didn't time okay, right okay, now. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, Ben. Hi, Arky okay. Car Keys. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Okay. Do it, we'll go. Alright, you all look up at Rorik, who stands atop <laughs> one of the nearby buildings. He clears his throat, looking toward all the bandits before him. All of the bandits would look rather confused, staring up at Rorik and giving you suspicious side glances. You would overhear some sparse whispers amongst the crowd. Come on, crowd. Come on. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> Was it Warwick supposed to sell them? Okay, this is. You can I suck at your help. fucking job. Yeah, you can't even whisper line. right. <laughs> Listen, this is either gonna go really good or really bad. Warwick claps his hands, gathering everyone's attention back to him. All right, let's just get this over with, okay? I know you guys don't want to sit here and listen to me talk for the next hour, so I'll try to make this quick. We need to fade out and then we'll fade back in. And when I say go. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hi, chat. <laughs> I'm yeah, sure yeah. I don't need to point out that the vessels are standing right over there, not in cages. Rourke nods in your direction. And I'm sure that lots of you have questions as to why that is. The short answer is that a lot happened in the last hour or so that made me rethink our allegiances. A long answer. Well, well, long, obviously. Oh, boy. He pauses for a moment, before sighing, crossing his arms. Earlier today, I'm sure you're all aware that we successfully captured the vessels, and we were in the process of selling them to off to one of our partners, the Alacrim Edict. Each of their heads is worth hundreds of endurium. The crowd grins and murmurs to one another at the mention of the sum of money. Rorik purses his lips. But, in regards to the money, I have some bad news. We're not getting that money. Because about 20 minutes ago, I broke off our partnership with the Alacrim Edict. The crowd gasps, and several bandits begin shouting for an explanation. What do you, what do you mean, mean you broke, broke it off? off? Fuck. <laughs> 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 Nothing's better than that. Huh? What's the deal, Rorik? Hey, hey, look! I know you don't understand, and that's why I'm here to try to make you understand. Trust me, no one in this camp likes money more than I do. And the Edict... The Edict paid us better than anyone else in REM. You just, you just the crackhead level of this stream already. It's all your fault. Cause you what? fucked up the fade in. Shake my what do you head. mean? I didn't daddy. fuck it up. I you, said, you, "Well, go on, go." Shake my head. Oh. Let me ask you this: Is the money really worth it? If, at the end of the day, it was all gonna be destroyed anyways? The crowd is confused, glancing at one another before looking back up at Rorik. Less than an hour ago, I fought the vessels myself. They're tenacious and annoyingly heroic. But damn if their determination and strength isn't to be respected or recognized. I don't know what it is. Or what is. They never gave up. Even when I killed them over and over and over again. And the odds were entirely stacked against them. They had no weapons. They punched my nightmares out of their way and they made it work. Yeah, and, and that wasn't exactly fun, so... Jadrian, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the gang. Yeah. And the longer that fight went on, the more I could see them for what they really were. When they came here, they said that someone was trying and kill was was going to try and kill the Night Raiders because of our association with the cults. We didn't believe them. But they were telling the truth. 
They have never been our enemy. Okay, well, maybe they were at first, but they aren't our enemy now. They tried to look out for us and warn us. No ads. That's how you fight against ads with your sub. Smart move. Yeah. <laughs> and when my assassins showed up and tried to kill me, they didn't let it happen. They defended me. They defended the Night Raiders and stopped the attacker from destroying all of us. Am I really supposed to try and get them killed when they've risked their lives to help us? Are you going to keep targeting them when they put in the effort keeping us safe when they really didn't need to? I mean, it was the right thing to do. He pauses. There's one other piece of information that I haven't told you yet. And that's the last reason why I chose to cut ties from the Alacrim Edict and give up the money. Granted, I didn't care what they were doing with their money and their people before. But when these vessels and their friend told me what they were going to use their power to end the entire world... I don't know about you, but I like this world. And I know you all do too. Is taking that money and continuing to stay on their good side worth dying for? Hmm. I swear that said the He's... night babies. Yeah, that's that. that Can you also hear the rain from my end? No. no. Cope. Oh <laughs> just cope. Just cope. It's so it. loud. Just cope. Just cope. Just cope. Just take some copium, all right? Cope. No, it's not. As of now, we're no longer associating with the cult. We're not doing jack shit for them. Instead, who we are associating with is the vessels. He motions to you with his hand. I'm going to start giving a damn about the world. We have enough money to last us a long time. And I'm sure we can find deals or jobs elsewhere that doesn't involve killing everyone we know and love for some greater being. <laughs> we don't need them. And the crowd is silent for some time. However, after a moment, they all begin to talk to one another in confusion. Clearly, Rorik's message is met with mixed emotions. Did they really want to destroy the world? I thought that was just an exaggeration! Wait, so are we the good guys now? Do we capture the vessels or not? I'm so confused! <laughs> I know this won't be easy! But I hope you all can understand why this is what we have to do. Uh, that went better than expected? <laughs> you good? Opium. Hold on, sorry. I was responding to a ping that I just now saw that you two already responded to. It's called okay. having a phone. It's called go fuck yourself. <laughs> Rook sighs and steps down from the home, <laughs> walking off from his pedestal. I won't tell you what to think. If that decision makes you want to leave, then go ahead and leave. Because I feel like being on the right side for once. Maybe you should too. Do we Rude. clap at that? It seems like a weird thing. Not me looking everywhere for a Why did that sound like Gunter from one. Sing? You have to move your doors, yeah? <laughs> where even is he? I literally well, don't know. He was on a building and then he got off of it. Did you not read the stage directions? Yeah, but which building? I didn't see him. <laughs> yeah, Marshy. Your type, tall, dark kid. You had to I'm imagine confused. him, Marshy. Come on, don't you have an imagination? Where's your sense of wonder and mystery and, and, and magic? Who hurt you? Know? you? You're an or actor, aren't you? No. Come on, give it, give it, act out something right now. Wait. Marshy, Marshy, do the act that we did together <laughs> Sunday, okay? Good! <laughs> Say Marshy. these aren't my beans, but like be really like shocked. <laughs> these aren't my beans! <laughs> <laughs> Someone clip that! Someone clip that! We need to turn it to the stoplight! <laughs> Marshmallow! Ding ding! <laughs> Those weren't her beans, guys. Did you find that believable chat? Could you believe that they weren't her beans? I believed it. I believed they, it. They weren't your beans? <laughs> no. What happened to your oh, beans? I My lost favorite was them. when we were like up in the aether and I went, hey yo, Marshy, just scream, and then she just fucking raped all of our ears just like yeah. viciously like i was bleeding wait, for my wait chat rubs. wait that's a good point 
I think he went to Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> We're fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's 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 get a. Anyway, someone tells kill- me that we should talk to Arian and Sam, who are nearby. <gasps> but Friends! we might be able to also right click these guys. Hey, we can right click these guys. Oh. Yeah, I kind of also broke cat at the ups. It's great. Wait, is this a girl? This is a girl. Yes. <laughs> Man, this door has been broken for so long. We can't get the cool sword inside. Okay, Wait, isn't it the cool sword that you were talking about the other day? Yeah. And... Yeah. No one Who's can get the guy? cool sword. Melon! Man, is it weird to not kill you on sight, right? <laughs> Melon. <Cool>. Melon. <laughs> Melon outhouse. Welcome to the Night Raiders, I think. Is that the right thing to say? My brain hurts already. I've been here for 10 seconds. Yeah, don't worry. That, we are, we day. haven't even been here for 10 seconds. It's Not mentally. Just give us an hour. It's a pretty human. guy with lovely eyelashes. Yeah, we, we will do this. Maybe our nipples as not be. So are we, like, on the same side? Or... I'm confused. <laughs> don't worry. So is Kim. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, this person's staring up almost as if there's at? someone that right clicked him in the sky right there. Just right <laughs> there. Oh, oh. Candy wants to trade with you, you bitch. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm supposed to feel about you. Are you good? Are you bad? Are you both? I get spinning. Oh. It sounds like a really bad Star Wars impression. <laughs> It's like a really <laughs> bad one. Like, what, what Star Wars character? Forget the name of them. Yoda? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> These are not the bandits you're looking for, Larry Jamal. Please let me knock off Yoda. <laughs> so Have you had a show with some day? I think I am now. Yo, what's good, Sumerian? <laughs> Which one do we want to talk to first, Sam or Arian or Sumerian? Both Sumerian. at the same time. Right. Arian okay. crosses his arms, glaring at Rorik as he gets off the stage. I struggled with that for a second. He growls a bit. I'm not growling. <laughs> what the hell are we still doing here? And why the hell aren't we killing them? Why would we kill them? Because I need a dramatic pause for effect. Uh, what the fuck is taking so long? We got catted on that. It's blast. You really think that just because there are certain chains of art that you can trust them? They're bandits, you imbecile. You're going to turn your back for just a second and lower your guard, and the minute you're not expecting it, they'll stab you. I, I don't think Rorik would do that. Sam sighs. Arian, you're just letting your personal feelings cloud your judgment. Again. Watch it! Anyone who ties me to a chair and takes my sword is as good as dead in my eyes. Look, we can ask Uruk for an apology or something. You think that's all I want? An apology? Maybe I'll consider forgiving them when the blood coats my blade. I'm tired of showing mercy to useless assholes who don't deserve it. Okay, come on. You know that's not fair, Arian. Let me decide if I know that or not. They just give me a second. Are you thinking on pumpkin hell? I, I understand. Isn't it? They're bandits, pillagers, raiders, rotten, bloody scoundrels. And if you think I'm not being fair by calling them exactly what they are, then that's not my problem. It's yours. Hey, you know they did just help protect us from the edict? Did you forget that part? And how many innocent villages were burned down in the process of that good deed? We could have taken those cultists. We didn't need his protection. And we still don't. He crosses his arms. Whatever. Make allies with who you want. But I'll tell you now that you're all dumb idiots. Jeez. Oh, it's Marshy. Sam, why do you take didn't even my pick spot? Up on, Marcia didn't even pick up on that. That's how weak of a dig it was. Sam rubs the back of his head, conflicted. It's just... It doesn't feel right. You doing okay, Sam? 
And I'll be fine. There's plenty to adjust to, you know? On one hand, I'm glad we didn't end up getting sold to the Edict. And I'm glad this Rorik guy had a change of heart. I mean, enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? But at the same time, it feels weird to team up with the people who locked us in cages. Yeah, well, that shouldn't happen again, okay? Hmm. He puts his hands on his hips and looks around. I still can't say I'm jumping in joy at the thought of bandits being our only option right now. I don't appreciate being a prisoner as much as the last guy. Only reason why I'll go along with this is because if I if we want to defeat the Alacrim Medict, we'll need as much help as we can get. Yeah, that's understandable. Plus, if you guys really think this is a good idea, then I'll trust you. He gives you a small smile. Let's just hope the bandits actually know how to play as a team, huh? I mean, they all work well together. I think it'll be fine. He nods before glancing over, noticing Rorik approaching you all. I'll leave you guys to talk. Arian and I will be waiting outside if you need us. Oh, and I'm sorry I couldn't do more in the fight. I'll do better next time, Rex. You know what? Don't sweat it. You, like, stab like a million nightmares, okay? We'll, we'll meet you there, Sam. Hmm. So oh. bad that I will not date a real person for the life of me, but an anime character that's a whole different story. That is exactly Marshy and Candy's philosophy. Yes. Yep. <laughs> oh shit, there is Rory. I feel like there might be yeah. a name for that too, but I could be wrong. I think there is. Hi, Rory. There's an <laughs> anime romantic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's it. <laughs> anime mantic? Animantic? Hamana <laughs> Hamana? Hamana Hamana? Rourke walks over to you, brushing his hands off. You know, that went a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> I was expecting so many more people to just abandon ship after hearing I gave up the money. This should be happy that I've got myself a loyal little gang, huh? What do you guys think? About what? A speech? <laughs> what else? Do you think I was too honest to direct? Come on, give me some feedback, Vessels. Uh, um, yeah. It, it was good, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> that's not really our priority right now. I, I hate to. Pr I'm I'm sorry. I mean, it was good. I swear. But we have other things we have. To Rex, no. What? I want to coin the term anime mantic. Anime. That's not it. That's not it. No. It sounds like manatee at that point. <laughs> yeah. It's the animal. Animantic. Yes, sir. Ah, of course it's not. I forgot. You vessels are all work and no fun, aren't you? He sighs, putting his hands behind his head. Been frenemies for less than an hour, and I already have no idea what to do with you. <laughs> Are you at all worried that the edict will come back? Eh, should I be? Sure, I was nervous in the last conversation because they totally could have downed me if they wanted to. I don't know had a way to get back up. But just give me a day or so, and I'll be back on my feet better than ever. And if they haven't been able to take you on... I like to think I'll be a bit of a challenge myself. You seem confident for the guy who couldn't beat us either. You don't seriously think you're the only ones capable of dealing some damage, do you? Trust me. I'll be fine. We can take him. And hey, if we can't, we got you to fall back on, don't we? Wait, you said they could have downed you. I thought you were immortal, though. Take care, Graham. He hesitates. Let's just say that my... Immortality isn't nearly as cut and dry as yours. You get knocked down, no matter what you're able. No matter what, you're able to get back up. Some of us immortals aren't nearly that lucky. Okay, then. So, what are you gonna do now? Pumpkin Hill. <laughs> do do. I'm gonna take a sip of agua. What? A... What the. <sighs> Alex, thank you for the you hug. Like that chat? I appreciate. I don't really know yet. He frowns, bringing a hand to his chin. I mean, the past month or two, I've been entirely invested in fighting you and stealing random artifacts. If I can't do one of those things anymore, well, I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Yeah, I don't really know either. He suddenly frowns. Wait, if I'm one of the heroes now, do I have to do boring stuff like strategizing? We're having meetings with you? Uh, I don't know, maybe. 
Blech, pass. I'd rather just do my own thing and let you know when I want to pop in and say hi. <laughs> yeah, that sounds much more like me. Whatever you say, I guess. Uh, but for now, we have a few more important things to deal with, so yeah. Sorry. I know your type. Talk. He sighs, nodding. I get it. Dragon Girl was one of your friends, right? Should probably focus on that for now. Don't let me stop you. Oh, um, before we go though, Rorik, could we ask you a couple more questions, maybe? Yeah, I don't see why not, I guess. Who... who exactly was Alora? Like, really? He was quiet for some time, before he gives you a gentle laugh. <laughs> She's the one who taught me everything I know about a cult. But... Let's just say she's not in the picture anymore. Did she... Did she die? And who was that hooded figure that I saw? I believe her name was none of your business, but I could be misremembering. <sighs> Look, I get that you're all curious because you decided to get nosy buns. But some stories are meant for another day. And some stories are meant to be forgotten. <clears throat> so, how exactly did you get your immortality? Sure are curious about that, aren't you? Well, don't be, because I'm not telling. He crosses his arms. Guess you can say that I'm just special. Bruh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I do be like shit. that sometimes. It's like, yeah, no, not telling you that. Okay. How about we know if you need help with something? Oh, you worried about me already? We've been friends for less than a day and you're already asking for contact information. That's cute. He grins at you. <laughs> Look. If by some miracle I find myself incapable of defeating a couple of robed weirdos, I'll contact you. Trust me. I'll even let you swoop in for the final blow. How's that sound? Miracle. Like a masochist? Okay. If you sorry, say so, sorry, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. What? <laughs> well, because it's by miracle, which implies that it's a good thing that they're incapable of defending themselves. And I was like, wow, that's weird that you think that would be a good thing. Okay, anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> well, can you tell us, like, anything about the edict? Like, everything and anything. He pauses, rubbing his head. You're gonna have to be more specific. Right, you said a woman contacted you with the partnership deal. We know that. Oh, right. That. There isn't really much that I can say about her, let alone about them. They're pretty secretive, you know. I never even saw her face when she approached me at that bar. She was wearing a red hood and a black and red dress. And a mask, I think. Although, even then, she was pretty easy on the eyes, if you know what I mean. Okay, anything else about her? Oh she had a really nice voice and a way of talking. Even before I knew anything about what she wanted from me, I felt compelled to listen to her. And the giant bag of money helped, too. Did the Edict ever tell you anything about their plans? I can tell they were keeping me at arm's length. They didn't want me to know anything. And for good reason. Can't exactly blame them for being so... sneaky. Especially when they had enemies like you on the prowl. You know what? Fair. Yeah, I think that's everything. Why did I almost say bless you? <laughs> oh god. If that's all you had to say then. Guess this is goodbye for now. Yeah, I guess it is. Thanks for sticking up for us. Don't mention it. No, seriously, don't mention it. I can't have my gang thinking I've gone soft, right? <laughs> Besides, I should be the one thanking you. What? Us? You had so many chances just off me, then and there. But you didn't. Instead, you. Gave me the benefit of the doubt. And that sort of kindness is something I haven't felt in a long while. Most people don't want to put their faith in bandits or troublemakers. 
But you did, and I'll never get why. You said it yourself, you're not that bad of a guy. I know your type, tall, dark, and For a second, I thought you were more excited. It had loaded for me, and I was like, huh, and then you and just started then singing, and I was like, oh my god. And then he to be here. No! I'm just a sunflower, but see me power an entire infantry. You like the taste of brains, you don't like zombies. What the fuck? That was the, uh, dance number? Eh, shut up. Just so you know, none of this means I've got to change my ways. I look forward to seeing you again, vessels. Sure thing. See you around, Rorik. Something tells me we'll be seeing quite a bit of you. Marsha won't be seeing anything soon, because I'm going to stab out her eyes. <gasps> fight! 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 It's not much of a... Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I, it <laughs> lagged, and so you were here with your knife out, and the next thing I knew, she was dead, and you were teleported like yeah, right. Like, it's it's not like much of a fight. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the everybody teleports where you just like stand and that you're just there. You stab. <laughs> you used I ability. stab Marshy all the time because I'm trying to help her build immunity stab wounds. That's how that works. That's yeah. I'll be not immortal. How that works. You're I'm already to, like. I'm waiting for the day Marshy right? responds, actually missing her eyes. I want to talk to everyone that is us, other than um. Dragon, we should give that one a second. Let's this guy. Hello. Mace puts his hands up as you approach him. If it isn't the vessels of the hour! That was quite the speech Roy gave about you, huh? So I guess we'll be on the same side for now. Mace. Hey, no need to look at me like that. He sighs, putting his hands behind his back. I can see there's still some hard feelings about before. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you did take us as prisoner. M.O. Modus operandi. <laughs> what? That stands for cheese. <laughs> Look, I am really sorry about that. I know my behavior towards you wasn't exactly tasteful. It was just part of the job, you know? It wasn't anything personal. Right. Granted, that doesn't mean I'm uh, not to have a bit of fun on my job. Like the poison thing. Wait, what? He pauses and looks towards you. He begins to laugh a bit. <laughs> you didn't think that was real, did you? When I pulled out that little poison bit? Did you really think the Alacromita gave us a poison potent enough to kill immortal beings? Bruh, what? It, what? It wasn't real. <laughs> My she's default is bruh. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Today really is a bruh day. <laughs> bruh. I should just rename my Every stream to bruh. Day. I almost do it. put a do bruh it right in now. that line. <laughs> <laughs> but he I laughs after mean... laughing, so he laughs twice. <laughs> Who did this? Uh, uh, if your cult rivals really had something like that at their disposal, don't you think they would have killed some of you by now? I can't believe you actually fell for it. You should see the look on your faces. <laughs> okay, yeah, so funny. You tricked all of us into thinking we would die. Oh, come on. Like I said, it was just part of the job. Not my fault that you happen to be gullible enough to fall for it. But you're someone like me who doesn't stand a chance in a fight. Learn how to win against rather strong opponents without using your muscles. That means thinking with your head. Wow. Holy shit, you actually played them like a fiddle. I'd rather I mean, not now that that's hard, but damn. You see, it worked better than I thought it did. <laughs> but hey, now that's water on the bridge, right? I hate you. Fucking... <laughs> You're... Look, look at me, look at me, too. No, You're I'm a bitch. i my shame hole. That's a I'm shitter go... cam. Actually, I'm it's go... the melon container. <laughs> oh. Oh, I am walking away from that. Oh my god! Wait, <laughs> look at <laughs> wait, it goes into fishing their fishing camp. pond! Oh my god! What? what? It oh, goes no. into oh, their fishing so pond! Guys. So Here, Mark, you take a swim. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck? Lila, you take a swim. No, stop it! What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, it's Ditch Camel. We have the chance. <laughs> Bruh! So hey, here's unhygienic. 
Shade would be leaning against a nearby wall. She flips a dagger up and down in her hand, glaring at the ground. When you approach, she groans. <laughs> Look who it is, our new partners. Nice to see you too, Shade. She rolls her eyes. What the hell do you want, huh? How's it feel to be on the same team as us? She considers her answer for a moment, catching her air bro brone, her airborne knife in her hand and straightening up. Look, I don't care what you think of me or the Night Raiders. The only person I answer to is Rorik. After everything he's done for us, I trust him in the choices he wants to make. And if he wants to place his faith in you, then fine. Whatever. So you're going to trust us too? No. I'm just going to stop going out of my way to kill you. <sighs> she sighs, walking forward towards you all and standing confidently in front of you. And I guess I can acknowledge you that you were able to beat Rourke in a fight, so you're not as weak and feeble and useless as you look. I don't know whether you'd be flattered or offended. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Same. I know your type, tall, mm. dark, mm. and dead. Mm. Who wanna ooh, fight ooh. all the- Oh, he stopped instantly. That was so cute. What? <laughs> 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 Before you would go on through the line and all that, but to the second you saw it, you just went <laughs> mid-line. <laughs> what a right. descriptor. Well, let's get one thing straight. She holds her dagger up threateningly. I don't care if Rourke suddenly wants friends or something. I don't care if Mace wants to kiss your ass. We are never going to be friends. And I'm not going to act all buddy-buddy with you just because you're not our enemy anymore. Yeah, I'm not even surprised. I know Did you try to kill us dark 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 dark. Dark. When you said, I don't care, I immediately went to, I don't care that you broke your elbow. <laughs> We're just a crackheads today, boys. I'm just a sunflower, but... Let me let me take a drink of water. I can't. I can't. Don't like zombies. Okay. <laughs> and if you give me even one hint that leads me to believe that you're gonna cause a problem for the night raiders, she raises her knife and throws it directly past your heads. You hear the wind whiz past your ears as the knife embeds itself into a wall just behind you. I'll go for the head. No questions asked. Turn. Loud and clear. Turn. <laughs> turn. You almost. You almost. Turn. Turn. And I turn. I mean, like that, that. That thing just whizzed by. I'll say my ear no longer pointy. <laughs> she scoffs, crossing her arms. You may be stronger than me, but I'm not afraid to put up a fight. You know that better than anyone, Sunshine. God damn it! Oh. Now get the hell out of my face. Shade walks past all of you, shoving her shoulders out of her way as she goes. Her Isn't shoulders? she? <laughs> Isn't she pleasant? <laughs> Isn't she just a ray? Yeah, ray but just shoved her shoulders time. out of the way. Stop! Stop! Oh, I hit Marcy. Why'd you hit Marcy for that? Get fucked, Mallow. Eat shit. <laughs> Get your just dessert. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was aiming for Marcy. You walked in front of me. I am so sorry. Now she's weeping. Look what you've done. You know what? God, you're crying a lot. She needs to stop crying. I stopped her crying and said stab her. You're gonna cry. Go cry in the shitter okay, pond. I'm back over after there. ten years. Welcome back. Your children miss you. Also, hi, Jerry and How are you doing? I give you. Never hugs. expected to be on the side of the ah. heroes. But I guess that's what Warwick wants. Yeah. Well, excuse me. You have such pretty eyes. This Wait, is what, not a good she... skin. Wait, is this a <laughs> boy or a girl? It's a. I'll, I'll... Man, I really liked being bad. Can we still steal and pillage while we're on your team? <laughs> That's up to Rourke. It fits I'm either. gonna stay out of it. I'm, I'm gonna stay down. out of it. Please. <gasps> Sir! Ah! 
<laughs> you bitch. Rex is just choosing <laughs> violence today. Did we at least give you a hard time? Please don't tell us it was too easy to beat us. You <laughs> fell in the you're poo in the, water. You're in the shitter water. Yeah, this is, it's not connected to the poo water, I think. Yeah. Eh, I never really liked the cult. No one did. Oh, it's Griffin. Oh my god, it's him. Hi. That's Lily's favorite person. Griffin yeah. would stand near the entrance of the bandit camp. As you approach him, he gives you an awkward smile. <laughs> What's up, you guys? No, I just knew you'd be able to get out of that situation yourselves. Oh, just shut the hell up, Griffin. Yikes. It worked. Yeah. It, you shut him up. You shut him up. Well, I know, you you're tight, tall, dark. <laughs> he puts his hands up. Okay, I know how it looks. Just give me a chance to explain. Oh, explain? You threw us under the bus and for what? Shut it, okay? I didn't know what else to do. I didn't even know what to think. But... What do you mean? We trusted you. Stop making me feel guilty and let me talk already! Listen, I was on your side up until Rourke and that cult guy didn't believe what you were saying. Both of them said you were probably just tricking me, and that no one was actually on their way to kill Rourke and the Night Raiders. And while they were talking, I was just thinking of that girl I talked to, the one you called Tabby, and I was like, well, that was just a casual conversation! And she was super nice about it, how could she be a killer? You actually thought we were lying? The silence proves you're more guilty. Oh, buddy. <laughs> I don't know, okay? The cult guy said you were! As much as I hate them, they seem to know a lot about you. So I thought that maybe they were right. It's like I really know you. You don't really know me. But I guess we don't. I'm not supposed to just stand there and put my trust into some people that tied me up and threatened my life instead of the opinion of my literal bandit leader? How am I supposed to go against that? Even now, you're just defending yourself. You still betrayed us, Griffin. And I shouldn't even be surprised, honestly. Gulps, going quiet. He looks down and mutters very quietly, almost inaudibly. Sorry. Hmm? What was that? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry that I helped you get captured, and I'm sorry that I threw you to the wolves. I'm sorry for everything. God, this is so fucking awkward. Look, just don't sweat it, alright? He pauses, blinking at you. What? Rex! You really are you kidding are me? that willing to forgive me just like that? Look, I get it. You didn't have much of a choice could have definitely gotten seriously hurt otherwise. When Rorik gave that speech, I found out that you were actually telling the truth. And I realized that I should have trusted you guys to begin with. That chick did try and kill Rorik. And your group was looking out for us. You've looked out for me for days now even. I was just being stubborn and a coward. Oh, I'm not going to hold it over you. Thinks around the camp. Can I go back to Ravenguard? Wait, you actually want to go back? I guess I liked how quiet it was there. And I still have yet to see any ghosts. <laughs> and as much as the people there kind of scare me, I felt like I could actually relax. You know, being a bandit isn't as easy as Rorik makes it out to be. It's a lot of work to capture people or raid villages. I like the quiet and... I don't know. <laughs> Let me go back. I know that I haven't exactly been loyal, but... Yeah, I don't really care. If you want to come back, you can. His eyes widen a bit. Really? Holy shit, I guess. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> you keep being nice to me when you don't really have to be. Uh, especially when you have no reason to be. I appreciate it, really. You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be oh, fucking no. kidding me. <laughs> what is wrong off. with you? Holy shit. No! 
No, what is wrong with you? Oh my god. What? What? I'm not understanding why you're actually this pissed off right now. I don't- I'm not either. <laughs> None of you realize what's happening here? Now you decide to be all nice and honest? He said it himself. He has no reason to give you to be nice about him. And you're just letting him off the hook. In fact, you're welcoming him with open arms back into your city. What, is it because you trusted him? What about all the people you fucked over in the past, huh? What about Dreamer? What about Seb? What about someone who actually gave you a reason to trust them? You know, the other bandit that we took into the city that stayed with us for months on end, gathered wood and supplies, helped build the city up from the ground, and you snuck into his house and accused him of murdering people. And even then, even then, do you know what his first reaction was when he was innocent and he didn't even do it? He said, sorry, that asshat right there betrayed us. And his first response was to defend his actions. He only said sorry after we pushed him to say it. And you're just welcoming him with open arms? I don't even think you ever properly apologized to Seb. You don't get to treat the people I care about like shit when someone who doesn't even deserve it gets treated with open arms. It's hypocritical and bullshit. So yeah, I'm angry. If this isn't even a thing about being right or wrong for once, I don't care anymore. He's in your city, not mine. But I don't like how you treat people. Got it? You're right. Thank you. No, but you, I'm not the no, one that needs to hear that. You're right about Dreamer and about all of them. Sometimes I'm wrong about people. I can't exactly get a good read on them. But if I spend my life going off of your opinions and everyone around me, how am I going to be able to figure out who I should trust and who I shouldn't? Look, I'm all for development on your end. But just... Try not to be so all over the place when it comes to dealing with people. Not all over and the And you place. owe Eb Seb an apology when you get a chance. Lily, I get his philosophy. It's the exact same mindset that I've employed before. But you didn't understand Seb's. He's in the exact same position as me. I get why Griffin did what he had to do, and it makes sense to me. Maybe because you haven't been in the same situation, you couldn't understand it. But you didn't understand Seb? He was held no. captive for months? And even then, all he wanted to do was help Vanguard. He was guilty in the end. I said it was very likely that he attacked all those people at that camp, and guess what he did? Sure, we were wrong about the rest of the stuff, but I was right there. All I'm saying is, you've been defending this guy from the start. All I'm the way up to the point when he him. did betray us. Just like I predicted, and even after that, you just welcomed him back in. No grievances. Look, I get what it's like to not have someone take a chance on you. All right, when they shouldn't have a reason to. Yeah? yeah? Well... Lucky for the people that you decide are worth the chance. Not so much for the ones you don't. Let's just get going already. Mm. Bullshit. <laughs> Tappy. hour for that to load. My god. There we go. Ooh. Tabby crosses her arms, oh tapping her foot. What? Sam fucking hurtled in front of me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Hamana. Huh, I'm gonna close my door real quick, cause, uh, this is getting loud. Just give me one second. It's not real, King, by the way. It's all lore. I'm sorry you walked into the middle of that very confused. Oh. <laughs> Tabby crosses her arms, tapping her foot up and down in the grass as she waits for you. Her eyes, however, are still hateful and cold. She watches you exit, running her tongue over her fang teeth in boredom. Are you done with your little goodbye party, folks? Ugh, Tabby. We have to talk. Obviously. I'm not an idiot. I never was. 
She lets her arms rest at her side and stares at you all. I did some thinking while you were listening to that boring speech. Oh, what kind of thinking? You'll be glad to know it was productive thinking. <laughs> she laughs a bit, motioning to herself. Look at me. I'm clearly out of my mind, aren't I? And a lot more than usual. And so maybe <coughs> one could say I'm a bit too far gone to recognize my bad idea is, well, a bad idea. No shit. Yeah. I just wish you realized this sooner. She's still thinking on it, I think. Let's just give her a moment to finish processing. There we go. <laughs> there we go, yeah. I've known all this time that I couldn't fight you. I mean, me? <laughs> Almost four immortal beings? Give me a break. I know when a fight is lost. That's why I followed you to that little mansion in the forest. I had a mask, and I knew it was the right time to run. It's why I gave that you that bomb... B -b -b I'm so sorry, I'm so tired. It's why I gave you that bomb as a backup plan. <laughs> I can't beat you. I know I can't. And yet I still tried to. Man! That doesn't scream far gone. I don't know what does. So, I had a thought. If I'm that far gone, then I probably can't focus properly, can I? I'm usually so good at keeping my true form under control, and yet there I was, ready to give it my all. <laughs> How stupid is that, huh, folks? To think my insanity gave me all this power, but put me to direct odds with you. <laughs> Which, I mean, is exactly what I was trying to avoid. What's your point, Tabby? My point is I know you can't beat you. And I know that you can't beat me. You can't convince me I'm wrong? I can't seem to convince you that I'm right. We're clearly just going in circles with this unless, well, one of us can change our minds or see it from the other's perspective. And that's why I'd like to make a compromise. What kind of compromise? Tabby.exe is not responding. Fuck. Shit. Did we try to turn it on and off again? If I could get some of my sanity back, maybe I could understand where you're coming from and I could see from your perspective. Then maybe I'll consider not killing those cultists and looking for a different option. But, because as it stands right now, you're going to keep getting in the way of my mission, and I can't do anything to change that, especially not like this. I think Rex.exe has stopped working. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. My bad. Whoops. Anyway, <laughs> I was giggling at cultits, like, really hard. I thought cultits was hilarious. Did I say cultits? No, that's what it says right there. Oh, <laughs> okay. I it um, you want to get your sanity back. Bingo, folks! <laughs> Besides, if you're more sane than I am and you can make all those bat shaped crazy gambles, maybe I'm gaining some sanity of my own. I understand how the hell you can afford to do that. So, what do you say, folks? Oh, if I keep going how I am, I'll endanger myself and my mission. This is really your only option, you know. Yeah, and why should we trust you? After everything you did, Tabby, you have given us nothing to trust. In fact, you single-handedly destroyed any trust that we've built up over all of our time spent together. Well, think of it this way. If I'm not crazy, and if I maybe understand why you refuse to save the world the right way, then I could even help you to su with your suicide mission to stop Rowan Pierce. But if you keep me how I am now, I'll keep butting heads and fighting each other until one of us understands or dies. And I know you folks aren't big on death. Fine. We're gonna help you become sane again. 
<laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> if it makes you folks feel any better, you don't even have to be the one to do anything. Just stick me to Wyron. She can help me with this little warp situation of mine. Yeah, we can do that. Person that doesn't like us going into her home to <sighs> pick this out. No, we'll just get Last time told back. us never to come back. And now we're coming back with an old friend ish. Yeah. She begins to walk away. Her hands playfully clasp behind her back. However, she pauses. Oh, but before anything else, she turns back at you and glares. And just because I'm making this compromise with you doesn't mean we're friends. We were never friends. And we'll never be friends. Understood, folks? <laughs> yeah. Understood. She frowns. Gods! Now you have such long faces. It doesn't suit you. Come on. Let's just get to Wyron's house already. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. <laughs> right. I'm like, you've got such a good track record trusting people. You trusted her too. You're serious? <laughs> All right, let's go. Today's a shitty day. You make it that way. Oh. Oh. Someone's just upset that they got caught being a hypocrite. Hypocrite. Is this a good deal with the entire trip back? Yeah, I think mm. we are. Oh, great. I'm okay. sorry, I just- I, I failed to see how I'm a hypocrite when I was right every time. You- What?! You well, I was right, right about, about Dreamer. He instantly betrayed us. And you weren't right about Dreamer. You thought he killed someone. He ran away. There's a stark. Yeah, and everyone thought it that way too. You were but the only person naive right. enough to believe it. He literally because made I it out so him. that he did kill someone. I think All the evidence ago, pointed to it. You were right when uh, you just admitted to being wrong by no. saying that he no, didn't no. kill himself. You, doing, you just no no no. All you said is you that everyone right. thought he did. Yeah, I was right. You were right that I need to start trusting people. That's all I agreed with. Oh, and I said great. I was going to start trying to do that by my own standard, not yours, because yours is just so wrong all the time. So wrong? I was right about Dreamer. And yeah, Seth. by pure happenstance. There was no logical reason to trust Dreamer. And you were insistent that Seb didn't kill all those people. And guess what? He did. I said he didn't do anything to the people in Vanguard. And no, he didn't. no, 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 no. You were so adamant that he wasn't the person that took out all of those entire people that cultist camp. You were so sure that he wasn't capable of that. And you were so sure that he was capable of taking out all of Vanguard. And he was capable. It's just a, he just didn't do it. Yeah, he did. We should hang out it. sometime. But all the evidence pointed to it, and he was capable. He had all the motive. He had the reasoning. He had everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, sorry that I trusted the person that stayed in the city and gave us wood and helped build it from the ground up And I was a little peeved about the fact that you were defending someone who helped kidnap you. Who do you think busted Tabby? Was that you? Cuz I don't think it was you <sighs> That's what I thought no No, I'm sighing Rex because you can never Ever admit when you're wrong about anything that doesn't please you doesn't you'll never, me. you'll never admit that you were fully wrong about Dreamer. You will never admit it. Because I you will wasn't. Continue to say, you will continue to say I was right, and then you'll follow with the reasoning that everyone else thought the same thing. But that doesn't mean anyone was right about it. Just because everyone thinks the same way doesn't mean it's right. Oh, so it means you're right. In that case, I was. I don't. I'm not the one who parades around saying I'm right all the time. I own up when I'm wrong. Uh huh. You're yeah, the so... one that goes around saying you're always right, and you're so good without everyone else. So you weren't wrong about like Tabby or anything, you know? No, just I was, that. and you I weren't wrong that. about Seb. Like, and you, you were know, too. Actually, killing people. And you know what? I was wrong about that part, but I was right about the Vanguard part, and that is why I'm telling you right now, this isn't about being right or wrong. I just want you to treat everyone with the same kindness that you treated some dude that didn't even deserve it. He does deserve it. Great, with some modicum of respect, so. because you're not giving him any. Because and what you've got a good reason to? Again. He kidnapped you 
and insulted Nina, everyone. mind you, he, like, helped us find, like, two different locations that we needed to get to. Because I held him at, um, sword point? Oh, did you? Did you hold him at sword point? Did you? Because you did it the first time, but I seem to recall just talking with him and training him like another human being, and it ended up working. Yeah, after. After. After? So you think he's scared of me? Oh my Maybe god, Maybe he just no. doesn't like talking to a psycho bitch! Okay, Great. I Thanks, think Rex. that's enough. Thank you! And as always, the Cam and Marcy party have zero opinions. Just like they didn't in the past, and just like they never will. Can you- Because it's both either of you never just the right shut time, the fuck up. Or... Everyone, both of you, shut the fuck up. It's never the right time, is it, Marcy? No, it's the that I didn't stop you guys, because I- You guys need to get this out of your chest, but holy shit. Now it's just getting obnoxious. Cool. Agreed. I'm glad you both think so. Still no opinion, though. You both- You both are wrong, and you both are right. Rex was wrong about things, you were wrong about things. Everyone makes fucking mistakes. Marcy's really just spitting facts right now. <sighs> Cam agreeing, as always. Cam, speak for yourself sometimes. Genuinely. I'm getting oh, tired of this whole- that's actually what I think, too! I really do! Then say it sometimes! Say it ten minutes ago! Say it back when we're going and we're in these huh. situations! I feel like sometimes I'm talking to walls! Guys, we're blowing up because of Tabby. This is all just misdirected frustration because of her. Just let's mellow out. Look, my city, my rules, right? Raven guard, whatever. If he causes trouble there, then I guess the ghosts will just get a little bit more pissed off. But at the end of the day, he's helped us more than he hasn't. I think that's fair. It's your city. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not- you're right. I'm upset about Tabby and a bunch of other things. But just, when it comes to my city, please try to have as much faith in people as you do with people in yours. Please, just try. That's my faith, ask. I have faith that your city can sustain itself. That doesn't mean I can always trust everyone. We've been betrayed enough that you can't quantify that much. And I when get something that. is but like, when there's mounting evidence, when there's mounting evidence, I'm going to think what is logically acceptable. I have to set aside the emotions and think of just what's plausible. And in the instances with Seb, the instances with everybody, from a person that never had the same kind of conversations that you did with the kid, I had to think of what was objectively the truth, and that he was an axe-wielding maniac with a hood. And unfortunately, with that case, the evidence did point. And everything that Dreamer did direction. was- he was literally trying to sell that he killed him. Yeah, Dreamer didn't really help his case, but... Yeah, he's obviously- I mean, I get why guys. he was selling he really that he killed cool. him, but it doesn't doubt that, like, he intended it. Well, he was keeping secrets from them. Yeah, but... It wasn't our secret to tell. <laughs> yeah, really but wasn't. no one else was going to tell them. Yeah. That was it was something they choice. needed to know if they kept going with him. He had the opportunity to make that choice. Braylon said that to him so many times, but he never listened. It's unfair to them to let them keep following some kind of leader that they think is one way, but is really another. He expects them to trust him with like all of their like life stories, but he didn't trust the other way. Thank God that got fixed before we left. But still, yeah, that was an issue. It's one thing if someone wants to tell their story. You can never force someone to. He had so many opportunities. Even so, if he didn't want to explain it, it to tell. even if he didn't want to explain it, they they deserve to know the truth, explanation or no. And you can think that that's just where we'll have different beliefs. Fine. I didn't get yelled at by Lenore. For what? Fixing the stupid crane. <laughs> Why would she do that? Because we, we fixed the crane. Yeah, but you fixed it on your own. I wouldn't even know how to start with fixing a crane. I don't even know how you well, build Lily, a crane. Are we dropping people off at Ravenguard? Yeah. Oh, I, shit. 
I was also going to Vanguard, and then I realized. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the scenic route because I'm following the roads. My brain went one track Vanguard. I'm yeah. not so why I saved you from like, I mean, you're not far off. City. Yeah, I mean, Ravenguard's just past Vanguard, so. Mm -hmm. I also love how the chat just kept on going, Cam, okay, Mom and Dad are fighting again! <laughs> Rex, stop fighting with Lyle! <laughs> My chat was like, fade to black? <laughs> I was like, nope. <laughs> no, I was like, no. God, if we are here for this, you have to be <laughs> No, my foe! If me and Lily oh. didn't have differing opinions, then this place might actually turn into a shitstorm. Because yeah, sometimes it turns out that her decisions are the right ones, and sometimes it turns out that mine are. That's Just so happens good. that I'm probably right about Griffin, like I usually am. It's I, like sometimes you have to think in a logical perspective, sometimes you need to think for a bit emotional. When it comes to Griffin, I kind of agree with you, Rex. He, it was kind of a desperate situation in, when he quote-unquote betrayed us. Like, I mean, if I were in a similar situation, it would be a way of preserving myself to possibly help get someone out in the future. And I don't think, think he was going to try to- I, mean, this, I don't want to get back into the situation, also, but I don't think he was going to try to get us out, Cam. Also, I, I don't think he had any intention of getting us out, but I do believe that he fully shit. believed the cultist and his leader. Yeah, I he? would- I mean, when it came- when it- like, think of it this way. Let's say, like, you're- He knows like, for, like, have... three days. He knew Rourke for however long beforehand. Yeah, exactly. it's like, it was either taking- Like, it would be like, Lily, if, like, Seb came to you, told you something, and then, like, some random ass person rocked up the Vanguard and told you something. Who but, would you no, believe? Lily is right. I kind of put a little bit of blind trust in him simply oh. because he was receptive to me not being able, really not caring enough to actually deal with him. And I I'm was just gonna cut him too, loose, but... but the way he reacted there, I just figured there was something that, I don't know, I kind of have been in the same situation before. I just. And so I figured he was the type of person that needed a little bit of a line thrown to him. It's Part not always the... like that. This was just like one of those situations where it was. Part of the reasons there's such a sore spot too, Rex, and it was also going back to Seb, but not the recent situation. When we first got him, he was a bandit, and you were so adamant that bringing a bandit in was a terrible idea and that he was going to betray us. It just, yeah. it's the same situation, but reversed well i also had a change of heart i know then, i guess because shortly after that i happily brought in a cultist and that man's now wolf so yeah that wolf's chill where are we dropping these people off i'm raving moving around ravengar like a mad woman I'm, i just got here i'm so. walking very slowly i'm like by spawn right now oh wow you're <laughs> really far back i was just gonna go why didn't you take a boat why would I? <laughs> I, said, I have like water. five people with me. Would I just make them swim? I am going Leg to day. sit on this tree. This is oh, I missed a wall. What? <laughs> you owe us some arson. I really, I can't really do arson in the rain. Yeah. I also can't set fire in my food. city. I will flay you. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just set yourself on fire, Marcy. I can't. I don't have anything to burn. Because it's going to immediately Believe. go out with the rain. Listen, but he'd be able to ascend. Arshie. Yeah. But it, it, it's more of a power move to be able to ascend and then just choose not to, I guess. Like, like <laughs> listen, Marshy, do you, do you just need me to help you make, like, a self-fire spell so you can set yourself <laughs> oh, on fire? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> that was Lily's first spell. That's the reason why she doesn't do Thumbcraft anymore. <laughs> hey, Lily, can you give me your spell? spell. <laughs> It was just a, like, a spell that just set herself on fire. And she was so confused why it wasn't working. I actually, okay, unironically, the reason that happened, and this is like, okay, I've gotten a lot better since then considering we read everything on stream. But I had this thing when I'd be on stream reading something, I wouldn't process it because I'd be so self-conscious about making sure I was getting the words right that I wouldn't actually process the information. And so when I was reading the textbook for Thomcraft, I was just reading it, but I wasn't actually understanding any of what I was saying. And then I was like, oh, it's time to make the spell. Oh my God, in my head, I was like, I don't know how to fucking make this spell. Uh, something about this, this, and this, and I put it all together and it was just wrong. <laughs> Good job. I am vibe. Marshy, why you run away from me? I I'm doing I'm hops. Dead. <laughs> also, I, I killed Cat earlier. Because uh, when we were talking with Vance and all, they were mentioning about um, Edict and how much money they had. I just went, Edict is a sugar daddy? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure they do have a sugar daddy somewhere in there. Yeah. 
sounded like that one guy before we killed him. No, they were just making business deals with him. They have to have a source of income somewhere, so that must be from, like, other connections that they have. They must, must have sponsors. Yeah. Because we've seen some different types of connections. We saw, like, those no, people open. that were in political positions that apparently they just elect so they turn, like, a blind eye or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But then there's also, like, obviously the bandits who are just hired help, you know, in different areas. That's a Bill Cypher. Thank you for following. So surely yeah. they've got to have some people that they're associated Wee. with that just sponsor them, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, that, 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 that guy, like, that noble guy, he was paying them, like, shitloads of cash just for political favors. Yep. Ah. What are your thoughts on the art? I thought it was metal as fuck. I loved it. Oh, line is art? I my exact words when I saw it, too. <laughs> yeah, he today. said, oh, that's metal. <laughs> do, 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 do. Are you talking about, like, the art Green the, Shadow uh, Legends like, is their sponsor? <laughs> I'm in Raven Guard. What would oh, okay. fucking happen awesome. if the Metal Stream was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends? What a vibe. Where are we meeting in Raven Guard? The I'm... library? The dicks? I don't know, I feel like Raid Shadow talks? Legends would drop like mad bucks, so if I got that sponsorship, I would stoop to that. I mean, Markiplier did it. Obviously, stoop? they're gonna like fucking. What's wrong with Raid Shadow Legends? I think I played it once and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I, I think I tried it, it out too, I didn't mind it. I loathe mobile games. Loathe I've played games like that before. Like I remember there's this one that I played for a very long time. I forget what it was called though. But it was know. the there's same like, type always, of like, game. Stuff like that are like kind of sussy. Like NordVPN, for instance. I'm probably killing all my sponsorship deals just by talking. But like <laughs> NordVPN, like I remember seeing this thing where it's like if you're like something with NordVPN ends or something, they will like blow up your phone with notifications. What? Yeah, they'll just nuke it. They have your, like, a trial membership's about to end or whatever, and they'll do it, like, every minute, well, like, multiple times a minute. Angry. It's insane. And we're here. They have all I'm... are just big, big chillin'. I'm on the big, big I mean, docks. We're in the library. You're on the docks? Yeah, we're I was library. on the docks. They get out of the oh, rain thank you, Boredom 690. Have you, have you guys ever board. actually come in here? Yes. The library? Have I had my shaders off this whole stream chat, and you didn't say single thing. <laughs> not no. a word. This isn't a hardcore speed item, just castle, but it closed down for the night, so I have to wait for the Dirt King. I'm sad. That reminds me of like when we were doing Chunked and we had like the Cobblestone Corner Kingdom. Chunked. That was great. That was awesome. It was just a cobblestone like tower Listen, all the way up like what the was so, the chunk. What made me happy was we actually did blot out the sun. Check out we the- We really did. Holy fuck it thing! Maybe, yeah, you do need to reorganize this. There's gotta- like, I just don't know how better to organize it. Like, I really don't. Put it in a it's bigger just, shelf like, every downstairs. Every shelf is, like, a thematic. One of these is, like, all of Eve's, like, documents, which I guess might not be yeah. fully ethical to have up there, but I put it up there anyway. Oh, God. Yeah. We... And then we've also got the other stuff. There's the, um, ancient stuff from, like, the, uh, palace, if you recall. Oh, damn. See, I think their problem is you have a lot of personal diaries on this. Yeah, well, it's of like ancient people from literally centuries ago. That's a story. Yeah, I mean, document. it is. That is, yeah. you know, non fiction. Yeah, that's fair. Crazy. No, it's it, it, it's historical document. That's why it's like I don't know what to do with those one books, Marcia, Yeah, that's those are not a ancient. little more recent. Yeah. I don't know, and it doesn't seem like something you just consume for like just viewing pleasure. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Most of this isn't viewing pleasure. I think it's for information. Yeah, but some stuff is just like not necessary. No, I agree. I guess. So we put those down in the archives. There's yeah. a lot of uncategorized books right now, but um, we have some stuff up here. The poison lizard's actually on the shelf. If you remember that story. Oh remember? my god! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, Hollow and Holly. It. That entire How story in its, in its full length right here, with all Without of like the stupid special like, little to go details with it. and embellishments. They read that book almost verbatim. Could probably make a book out of the whole dining room conversation too. Oh my little God. mystery. Oh. What plate's the best? Oh, I don't know, but Marshy's gonna eat it anyways. <laughs> what about the um, little mine adventure that they made us go on? Oh. Uh... Remember? When they had what we needed, but they refused to just let us go get it. Oh, yeah. And so they, like, strewed together that this was... narrative oh, no, about us exploring the mines. That was horrible. Oh my God, those two. Oh me, oh my. Like, that was so annoying. Like, I, I screeched so much. Sun Civ, I put up some of the scrolls up here, but they're damaged, so they don't have the names on them, so I can't remember who went with what. Mm. This is some of the books that we had on Occult. Specifically, I we put the um notes from remember the um the mansion that was full of like hollows? 
Mm -hmm. I told you guys about that, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm gonna make my chat busy. I apologize. <laughs> we have I'm that just there. Being a, I'm just being a ref. A, a here are some of the books on. that we found when we were at the Twilight Forest, Lily. Oh. And they're all over here. How's your eye been doing? They've not been irritated at all. Huh. That's good. This is embarrassingly empty. And this is- oh my god, wait, I think this is all Lamia ink up here. Yeah, these are all like logs from Lamia Incorporated, uh, do you remember that? Maybe I could try talking Lenore into putting down some of her theories into books for us. Maybe. But yeah, every single like- like Okay, was in reading... fairness, historical locations, we've been to a lot. It's just a lot of the places in they historical like, locations are like- They are like documented. And well no, they're like diaries. That. Yeah. Anyway. But like fucking, but if you, I read through these books with Blink when we were like putting them up and everything, right? And boredom, thank you for following. Yeah! Um, whenever we shelved all of them up, it's, it, she had like departments and everything. It was like extremely well running, like and almost like you look at Lamia now and you're like, what happened? She used to have a <laughs> full functioning like corporation with like literally countless people working under her that had like a bunch of different departments and engineers and they were making like insane amounts of shit. And now she has, like, a little lab where she does some, like, miter tinkering with- I don't know. Stop! I just thought Stop. It was she's having a hard time, okay? I just thought just it was be interesting. Nice. You're being nice No, I, it's just more bitch. of a testament to the choice she made. I mean, yeah. she gave up that for- I mean, granted, we, like, kind of flooded the entire facility with lava, but still. She, like, just <laughs> willingly, like, gave that up and then just came to slum it with us, where she can do, like- I mean- Her workshop is, like, the tiniest thing. really kind of screaming. She was, like, a little baby. I feel like if you didn't flood yeah, the place, she place, threw a tantrum inside of, like, there. a prison cell for, like, weeks, but still, like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. <laughs> she didn't betray us. She didn't betray us, you're right. Yeah. She's loyal. Yeah. Little sweetheart, when she's not throwing tantrums, throwing wrenches at your head. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Rambler. Have you heard of the new movie called Constipated? I cannot say I have. I. All right. Would like to say not knowing. Tabby is upstairs. Hey, Tabby. Tabs. She been following us, or is she just like here to be here? I know your type, tall, dark, mm -hmm. and tabs. Mm -hmm. Tabby. Bite all the tabbies off of my head. It never came out. Ha 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 ha. Well, oh, we yeah. don't arrive or not. Oh shit, yeah. I'm yeah. Don't worry. I materialized a flux crystal somehow that I can now use to hire her with. Did, nice. did you just? Did you just take I don't shit? know. It just grew in my pocket, I guess. She's like a little gremlin. You handed her and she just starts nibbling on it. I bet. Oh shit! <laughs> my God. They speak. Rex is a god confirmed? Question mark. To the dick. Throw back to that one stream where you accidentally like flew or something, and like this was before we had any solid lore, and everyone thought oh, you were like a god. God, yeah. I had flight on and instead of being like, hey, that shouldn't have happened. This is like back when I was all like, the show must go on and we can never be out of character and fucking fuck you, Tabby. <laughs> and so it was all like, I was like, oh yeah, um, that's weird. There's no way I can fly. And I kept trying to play it off, but then I kept Morgan. flying. And then I was like, oh my God, I can fly. It's so crazy <laughs> and weird. Boat. Boat time. Tell me what to so do one more time. Sad. Mark, it's boat time. I don't have a boat. Like, I swim. I flew, and you were in full Actually, panic. I'm gonna go the long way. Yeah, why don't we just go across like the actual like pathway that leads back? Let's go. Sure. We're going on the pathway, right, Kim? Yeah, we totally are. Bye, bye, everybody. Yeah. Why is it the funniest thing I've heard all day? I don't know. I'm impartial to like what was it? Like those aren't my beans. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, now that was horror. That is just like that is abject horror. Listen, <laughs> at least we haven't reached the point that we're beginning the sorb. No, because we don't have swan here. How can we be sorbing? I know, it's sad. God, Kim made time. one banger joke and now she's just gonna beat it until it dies. I I will stop <laughs> I am tired as fuck. We let, oh, she, I've she rolled seen out with Morgan. that. Me and Ofek were in agreement that it was like super fucking funny, and every that was like all Cam needed. Now it's all she's ever said is just uh. the fucking sorbing time. <laughs> yeah. Turns out when I'm tired, I say a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. I, when I get tired now, I say it a lot, and that's what like, I don't know how to feel about that. I really don't. M I A M I running out of time, Miami. Ha 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 queen, ha ha ha. Maybe should- Oh wait, what am I doing? Rex. 
Rex. I mean, we gotta pass Vanguard to get there. There's in my pants. Don't bring Cavi to Vanguard. I thought we were going to Vanguard. I have brain damage. We gotta go to Lyran. Which I thought was that way, but I guess it's this Please way. Please don't bring Tabby into my city for the sake of everyone's mental like Everyone health. will go. Tabby, go. No, give me a blow. Everyone will go full panic. Wait. We are kind of harboring her criminal right now. We aren't arresting her. Well, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm so right happy now. I made this decision. Well, listen, Wyron can put her under house arrest. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully Wyron can rein her in, right? Like of everyone, I, I Wyron's got to be the way. only person that could, right? They're friends. Unless they're like, you know, Wyron's secretly plotting with Tabby, and we're just oh god, like, that, that, but that like doesn't make sense based on what like Wyron told us, you know? Yeah, no, I agree. Interested. But she was completely off about that being the reason. I mean, she did say it was kind of the reason, at least. And if yeah, I were Wyron's position, I think I would understand that too. But still, I mean, just, they're like BFFs or whatever, right? If anything, Wyron will be Ooh, able to rein her. BFFs. What do you mean? They were like old friends, weren't they? They're old friends. Like, like Tabby sent you to now. her whenever like you needed help or whatever. It was. She said it was a long shot. <laughs> they hadn't spoken in years. Oh my god! Is, is this how we? Is this how it comes to light that Tabby doesn't actually have any friends? Tabby, no! Oh, wait, don't say wait. no. She just said she hates us. Oh. I don't think that's Tabby her does choice. Have any Fuck friends. her. Fuck her. <laughs> I see him in the distance. He is here. Water and stuff. Fuck off! Come, come left. Turn, turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Why would I turn right when I could just turn in? Because this is where the entrance is. But why would I do that? There's not like a dock on this island. It's just an he island. He does what he wants. Like you can see the sirens over there. What the fuck? Hi. Yeah. They're like right there. <laughs> hi. We haven't Tabitha. said hi to them in so long. Here we are. Hey, Wyron, you miss us? You're not throwing wrenches at our heads, so you're already more homely than Lamia. Where the fuck is Marsha? Uh, I'm in the ocean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Marsha going full dipshit, trying to swim across the water so I have to Oh, we've been told to we can talk happy. Oh, shit, shit. Ah, I broke something! Oh my god. Backstage, I broke the, f the garden. I saw her. So I gotta get my she's ass living beat. now, huh? I know, well, I'm the worst. It was a two-liner. Marcy, come on. Oh, well, I didn't know you guys were talking to people, so. No, no, no! It was a two. It was like literally. It was, it was an open ending. Tommy, no options. You don't need to talk to her. I read it nah. out loud. She wrote it out. She like, you know how long that took? It took like 50 minutes for Candy to write, don't you know? And if we missed it, God forbid no, we I missed it. No, I said it already. I already said it, Candy. Yeah, but I didn't hear it. Read it again. Oh Fuck my Fuck off, Marshy. Let's go. Fine, I'll read the one-liner again. No. <laughs> if it'll open. Hi, Byron. No, 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 no. I'll wait for this doll to open now. Hi, Byron. Hi, Byron. Oh, this did work. I feel great. There we go. So, this is where she's living now, huh? Yeah, let's just get this over with. Yeah. Is that worth it, Marshy? Okay, Marv, you or me reading Myron. That... Myron would be working in the kitchen casually. She sighs when she hears the door open. I know it's you, Vessels. After all, who else would come to visit? She keeps her back turned to you, setting down whatever she was working on carefully. What exactly have you come for this time? And why haven't you gotten it through your heads to leave me? She pauses and she turns to... She pauses when she turns and immediately notices Tabby with you all. It... Surprise! Give Lily the narration. Okay. <laughs> and oh, you sit here <laughs> being a dipshit. Wyron glares at Tabby. Tabitha? Wyron. What in Rem are you doing here? Would you believe me if I said I missed you? <laughs> Each. Uh, we need your help, Wyron. Of course you do. That's what you always need. You and Tabitha. She glares at you all. Is that really all I exist for? Convenience? No, I, I swear it's not like that, Wyron. We really need your help. Time and time again, I have informed both of you that of my wishes to remain alone. Why must you continue to come back and bother me? Is that 
Any way to greet an old friend? Tabby smirks at her before sighing. And then again, you were never really one for partnerships, were you? Or keeping your fat mouth shut. And you were never one to grow up and see reason. Instead, you lived a lie like an immature child. And where did that lead you? Right back to me. Oh, damn. Oh. Okay, now's not the time for this. Like, I see there's a lot, but not now. She <sighs> sighs. Then what is this? Is there a reason for you bringing her to my doorstep? She who would endanger my life without a second thought and still consider asking things of me? Would you just shut your trap and listen for one second? Tabby groans. <sighs> Look, I don't want to be here either, but I need your help with something. And there it is. Even after centuries, you demand things of me. Tabby wants to bring down her warp, Ryron. What, Ryron? what the fuck? Do you Ryron! Get <laughs> what the? <gasps> she goes silent in surprise. What? We're not kidding. She wants to become sane again. She raises an eyebrow and looks over at Tabby. You? You wish to regain your sanity? Really? Tabby groans, tossing her hair over her shoulder. Ugh, yeah, all right. Somehow, this history seems to repeat itself, and these folks didn't agree with me either, just like you, so I need a change of perspective. With you. I, oh, I totally misinterpreted that. With you, I knew I could continue my mission without any interference, but I can't exactly fight these folks, can I? <laughs> Typical immortality. She stares at Tabby in disbelief. So, once again, you come to me for convenience. I came to you for help. Let go what you want. Not like I have the power to change your mind. <laughs> Tabby chuckles. You truly have gone too far this time. Please just give her a chance, Wyron. Otherwise she won't stop and she's just going to be a bigger problem. Wyvern looks between all of you, and then back at Tabby. How do you think she would feel if she, if she saw you like this? <laughs> Who cares? Not like she was around all that much to begin with, right, folks? <laughs> Always busy with that edict work. I don't care about her anymore. But at least she was responsible enough to keep the all-knower in check. I don't know what the god sees in him. Fine, then. If that's truly what you want, then I'll help you regain your sanity. But you listen to me this time, Tabitha. Let's just get this over with. If I spend too much time with you, you'll start to rub off on me. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for. Um, Fiber, could we ask you something? I mean, while we're still here, and... yeah, I, I don't know if this is a good question to ask right now. No, fuck off. Oh, I'm so sorry, why we're moving. We'll go Bearing to Pumpkin character. Hill. Don't worry, don't worry, we'll go to Pumpkin Hill. Do, do. Don't dignify that. <sighs> I suppose if you must, it seems I've already accepted fate. Fate filled with company. I want to know more about the All Knower. She pauses before glancing at Tabby. Tabitha almost certainly told you, didn't she? About the infection. Is that true? Unfortunately, it is. Although Tabitha is not right in her mind, her intelligence has never been in question. The All-Knower indeed acts as an infectious presence. If not dealt with properly, he has the potential to spread across, across a populace. But what is he? What does he want? He is less a being than he is a consciousness. A presence, a presence that is set on reclaiming that which he, have lo he has lost. When the light first appeared, his domain of Verem was overthrown. And now he seeks to crawl back into the world and return it to darkness. And he plans to do this by connecting with certain beings dark enough to hear him. 
These beings have a role to play in his grand scheme, and whatever that may be. Oh my god. He influences people by acting as a guide or a voice, and those who choose to listen are in instructed to enact his will. This was the same for Venus, as it, as it is now for Rowan Pierce. Okay, but how do we know if he's inside someone? Like, is there a telltale sign, or...? I don't know if we do. However, Tabitha's methods are nothing short of barbaric, even if her heart is acting for the good of the world. Tabby sticks her tongue out at Lyran. Thanks for confirming that, Wyron. Wyron then looks back at Tabby. Do not consider the all-knower as a concern of yours. For now, you should focus on the ones that do choose to listen to his influence. The elimination of Rowan Pierce is necessary to keep the world turning. Right. As for you... Tabby blinks at her. I believe we have some activities to attend to. If lessening your work is truly what you want. Uh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Tabby groans. We'll leave you to it. Good luck. Let's, yeah, let's go before we get something thrown at us. You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Ready? For this? ready? Not our problem! Let's go! Woo That's a wiring problem now! I am going Whoa. to swim. I'll wait, 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 wait. You realize we just got dumped a worse problem, right? Yes, but at least Tabby's not our problem. No, that uh. implication, what she just implied. If there really is no way of knowing who else could be listening to the all-knower's whispers, this implies that anyone could be following his scheme, quote-unquote. I know, I don't even know. Yeah, Do you know how much paranoia that can inflict on somebody? God, that must be why no one, like, not everyone in existence knows about it. What if, like, your next-door neighbor is, like, some kind of, like, whisper for the all-knower? What if it's, like, your own mother? Uh, you know what that kind of, it gives me Big Brother vibes. I hate that. It kind of gets me the heebie Yep. Look. Wyron is wise. If she's telling us not to worry about this immediately, I think we can focus on everything else that is coming first. There's something to consider, though. No, I if agree. If it's not just Rowan Pierce. And what does that mean? What, what does this guy even want? He just wants to return the world to darkness, but we don't exactly get how he does that. How do these people fit into this grand scheme? If he is telling Rowan what to do, that means that everything Rowan does contributes to this, like, greater ideal. But what is it that Rowan Pierce is doing that does this? If I'm gonna be honest here, if you think about every populace in Rem, every city, every town, everything, even Vanguard, Ravenguard, the odds of one person being infected in each of those places is probably on the higher end. They could be anyone. Maybe we don't. Would know they the even rate know themselves? Infection. We know nothing about it, and that's Venus seems pretty sure about it. And so does Rowan. It leads me to believe that anyone that would be would know that it is. They all know her. Maybe when they're like dark like that, but what if the, the way they were phrasing it, it seems dark. like the needle in the haystack kind of deal. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like the most common thing, but it seems like the type of thing where it doesn't matter if it's not common. One person makes it a problem for everyone. Or so much as the way they were saying it, one wrong person. Yeah. Venus obviously wasn't too bad. I mean, apparently she wiped out the sun civilization, but other than that... Uh, like, we talk about Venus... like, the entire civilization isn't bad. Like, Venus was trying to keep the balance of light and dark, but still... Yeah. It's just, it's strange. The second that she took out the sun civilization, it's almost like the all-knower didn't have a use for her anymore. 
That's what her diary said. She heard his voice, and then once she completed that, he stopped talking to her. And then Rowan Pierce appeared. Hmm. Say that again. Once she did the thing with the sun civilization, he stopped talking to her, and then Rowan Pierce appeared. That's so weird. It, 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 there's no correlation. It just reminded me of something Lenore told me the other day. Hmm. She was Wait complaining to Cam and I about how after she did her greatest thing or whatever, Biden stopped talking to her and started talking to me. And she yeah, was flabbergasted about how I, an idiot, and yada yada yada, and then we went down that train. Hmm. Oh, Lila, you're... What? Lenore found it! What? What?! Lenore's right Cam's outside spoiling the spoiling surprises by running five miles ahead. We're all yeah. chilling at Wyron's Island, and Cam's just gone. I didn't know we were chilling at Wyron's yeah, Island. I turn. saw Lily try yep. to get in a boat. Marsh, you got a boat? No, but I got boots. Boots! And a Zephyr. Whee! Am I going the right way? No. It's just an unsettling thought. Am I going the right way? I My was. cape go whoosh whoosh. Yeah, when you're bored, you do parkour. It's more like dominion. when I'm not. And, but what does it mean that he's just a consciousness? And Tabby called him like Flux. Like she called Flux an extension of him. Yeah. What? That makes me feel yeah. really bad about using Flux Bolt. That feels so strange. Well, I, I mean, guess... I guess. Flux and so on and so forth goes down the I mean, darker it makes path. sense. I mean, it does go down the darker path, but you think about the primal aspects of Essentia, there is one oddball. And that kinda is the oddball. Every single other one, there's like fire and water, there, there's air and earth, there's order and chaos, or light and dark, and then there's... And there's just dark flux. There's just flux. Change. Taint. Uh, it doesn't make sense why it's there. I don't know. And it behaves like none of the other ones. It's so unique. Yeah, and... There's a little face trap. In the wrong scene. Yeah, it's a slimy face! I mean, like, if... <laughs> like, I know, like, if we mess up, it just... It could just spread yeah, everywhere. We live face. in the ocean, chat. We got squids. We don't need to, like, tame any. They're just everywhere. We go zoom. Chat wants you to name every single one. Name every single squid in the ocean. Yes. Um, Easy. For squid. once, I'm glad they're, that we're they all just share the same stuff. name. You know, they're all called squid. They're all called Squidward. Squid. Hi, squid. Squidward. There's just one named Squidward. All the others are named Squid. Wait. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. It's I'm like not what say was what it? I've DGL seen a meme where it's all like name these molecules, and then like instead of like actually putting the name of the molecules, people would put like Carl. Daniel, Jacob, Noah, <laughs> Apple, Doris. Doris. I guess we're going to all know her stuff. I guess we just have to see Ooh. more we look into the end of the wrong pierce. Ha, uh, lag guard, my beloved. Beloved. Is that Enerium? Yeah, spoilers! I'm not there! Well, it's Stop. not my fault you're slower than molasses. I caught your boat. Oh, I have it. So I thought you liked parking your boats here. Well, I do, but I now people keep point. stealing it. Oh no, I I parked like five boats and then okay. I come back and they're all gone and I'm like, fuck. Yeah, Wiley, <laughs> your favorite person's here. I used to stack them up, but now I, I need them. Where's Marshy? I'm in the ocean. Fine, I got this. Got this, believe. Hello. I see no sea. I <gasps> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> She's came and decided I to cannot, go back in the ocean. I, hold up. My game is going at three people frames a need second. Her. <laughs> okay. N. My my frames are have returned. N. Oh. N. N. Hold up, hold up. N. My frames are not N. here actually. N. N. Beginning and the end. Uh, uh, I see. N. My chat is raving. <laughs> Over what? Dusk. <laughs> Praise be, Dusk Boy. Oh my god, fuck? Lily. What the oh, fuck? Our server is hella lagging right now. I did it oh to get away god. from you. What? Yeah, you this why did I get punched? Is hella lagging why did I get right who now? punched me? Oh, there oh, we go. There we go. go. Lily, you don't remember her. Oh, uh, well, you? no, I, I, 
It, it's Drax. like the calm voice, right? Drax. Well, it, it's the um, dude from Guardians of the Galaxy. Drax. I'll try my best. It's Drax. You don't remember Drax? I don't remember Drax! The oh, dude that was standing still eating potato chips. I can only can turn invisible if I stand as still as a statue. I can literally see you eating right now! No, you can't. Okay, <laughs> yeah! Dust dislikes waiting in the rain. However, it seems as though with the sheer length of this REM storm already, there may be no other choice. Bothersome. Your REM world is truly an annoyance to me, Phileas. Okay. Hi, hey, Dusk. Shark. How you doing, little guy? Like, even though he this ah! dude ah! creeps Spit me on out, Marshy. He, he's still cute. Marshy, Dusk, come on. Dusk would be singing to your surprise. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. These two lines repeat over and over again. Seems that's all he knows. Let's hope it works. What's up, kid? How you doing? Aww. 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 And the moon, thank you for following. I have and the moon. We'll have right. DM'd Let's me Let's see if Lenore time. is actually pissed. Oh, dear. There is Xena right here. I remember his voice. My, that's quite the unfortunate accident, isn't it? Oh, no. Lenore? Hold up. Give me My a minute. Chat. No! Oh. Big dog, no! What can no. eat? Fuck! What can eat? Big I forgot dog, to update no. him. But you no put him here? No for the blood god. No, hey, it's quite the allowed. unfortunate accident, Lily. <laughs> yeah, Isn't I guess it? Nah, there it is. <laughs> Isn't it quite the unfortunate accident? Wow, chat. It's such an unfortunate accident. No, it's still accident. unfortunate. It's still unfortunate. <laughs> oh, also, thank you, uh, Anna Moon, too, for the follow. Bump! It yeah. was quite the- it was quite the unfortunate accident. It has updated! Hmm, it's rather interesting work, don't you think, my dear? Called your work interesting. That doesn't mean good yeah, or bad, no, Lila. Like, I know, see, I know. See. I was really, really angry. Let's see. How's Lenore gonna react to the crane? Uh... Lenore looks up at the fixed crane in shock. She narrows her eyes. Hmm. She approaches the crane, crane carefully and looks over the handiwork. Something wrong, Lenore? Can't see like whatever you just said. It's hidden behind Lenore. She like, approaches. She, ah, she approaches Kane. She and then there's something Kane. else there. We'll never know that one word. No, it's she. She approaches Kane? Question mark exclamation. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> she narrows her eyes behind the goggles. I was specifically asked to fix this crane, and yet here it is, intact. Either I was lied to on the severity of the situation, or someone has thought themselves above my expertise. Hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she looks toward you all. I require an explanation. Immediately! Since you said I couldn't, then I thought I would instead fix it myself. She raises an eyebrow at you and glares. What? Yeah, not such a useless savant after all, am I? Actually have a little bit of, um, I don't know, something. She approaches you quickly, her goggles adjusting to reflect the irritation in her expression. You would dare to waste my time like this. I have important matters to attend to in the name of your city, and yet you would force me away from my work to complete a job that you had the capability to complete? Yeah. So what if I did? I'm not useless. You're calling, you call me useless, and then I go and do something, and you're berating me. I did that myself without you. She's quiet and shocked before Zeno, her husband, would step forward. Although I uh, rather elementary in some regards, the construction is rather clean and cohesive. I quite like the rotating gear at the bottom to allow greater versatility. Uh, and the woodwork is rather perfect. He compliments your work. Lenore remains quiet. I'm taking your advice and finally sticking up for myself. 
Nothing to say, Lenore? She sighs, massaging her forehead. Perhaps I underestimated you. You may have the potential to learn despite your rather unimpressive disposition. But this simply proves to me that you have potential. You're still hardly a savant in my eyes. <laughs> Whatever. Next time, let me do it if you're gonna ask for my assistance. Do not waste my time with a problem you have the ability to solve. By yourself. <laughs> she scoffs, walking back toward the tower. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh. Thank you for the follow. That woman's your teacher? <laughs> yeah. Man, she makes Morella look like a ray of sunshine. Yeah, oh. she's a bitch. Yeah. Did you see why I was so mad the other day? <laughs> that was hardly anything. She berated me in front of Cam. She's like, you're so useless. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she I was hear me. not Gina even there. Away. <laughs> 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 All right, well, good to see that you still haven't grown a complete spine. You're just slowly getting there. <laughs> Great. Well, after that shit show, I guess. <gasps> Can we check around the city? Yeah, make yeah. sure everyone's yeah. chill. I need Dusk? He's right there, chat! He's oh, right there! He's right there! Oh fuck, oh god, the dog's out. Oh god, the dog's out. Oh, dude, the dog's Actually, out. the dog is where we left him. I think he's just chillin'. Maybe he likes hey. the rain. Haddakiss is catching fish straight from the sea in his mouth. It's like he doesn't need help hunting for food after all. Aww, yeah, you saw oh, yeah, remember that time we were all like, hey, we can barter with him by offering him food, and he went, fuck you, I don't need your measly food. Hold up, hold yeah, up, that hold was up. really cool. Well, uh, Willow's... <laughs> Willow's a vibin'. <laughs> Willow's a vibin'. Uh, yeah, no, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, you just slightly roasted me. Let's keep going. Where did you go? Who slightly roasted To the blacksmith. You? Oh. It's just very laggy here the right now. The dog that only I can understand, that ah. you guys just hear as dog barking. I didn't hear a dog bark, I just heard nothing. <laughs> no, you're deaf. I'm trying to take over, at least. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a shame for this place to go to ruin because the blacksmith isn't around anymore. Yo, Aaron. Kalias? You're making your way up there, my favorite person list. What do you- how? What? This is I, because I built such a nice thing, I even connected it to Arian's house because he complained about how, you know, it was too far of a walk. So I made this nice little bridge for him and everything. He didn't thank me once, and then he ditched the, the, the stupid Yeah, Arian's kind of an completely. asshole. What do you expect from him? But he gets results, though. Can't deny that. Uh, that's true. Well, I think you're the follow. Yeah. Adriana. Did there used to be a blacksmith here before, Kalias? Are you taking over or something? Yeah. Nope, Apparently, it belongs Arian's, to you now. Arian's making his home himself at home oh, in yeah. Ravenguard. Yo, Melody! Hey, Melody! Hey. Melody! You know what's up, my favorite teenager? What's um, up, dude? Don't tell the others I said that. <gasps> no. Oh. Marby. Oh. Vic said I was good enough for... Good, but hold on. Vic said I was good enough of a shot to get more, of, get more official guard duties. I'm not allowed to watch the Atirian District of Vanguard all by myself now. Wait, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone else take it. I can't fucking read. <laughs> it's good enough of a shot to get more official guard duties. I'm allowed to watch the Atirian District of Vanguard all by myself now. <laughs> Aww. Atirian District. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Leo's rolling in his bed right now. He just shot straight up. Anyone? Boss just degraded me. <laughs> I can feel it. I love how like, non-canon shit. Favorite really? canon moment with Leo follow. was just like when Leo had a thirty-minute conversation. With, was it Marcy or Cam and I? I forget who it was. It was one of you two showing off all their personalities. I think it was Cam. They're, they have yeah, was, all these little yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was that really was great. great. Huh. It was like a thing they showed us all of their like impersonations and all that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Adore Leo. He's the fucking worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're both working hard. I've learned a lot under Vix acting as a guard for this city. Mr. Wolf has been super helpful in his in training me with knives. I remember these guys. They're the ones that Ovec brought in. Yeah. Oh. Zoe's sitting under a tree. What's up, cat girl? Zo where? 
I see so under the tree. My How frames many trees are you like, see in this fucking My city? frames are literally six. Hold on. Under the tree. I'm turning under it my render tree, distance under down. The tree, under the tree. Okay. I like to spend a lot of time under this tree because it keeps my fur dry. <laughs> One day. I'm gonna kill no. over and die. No! <laughs> what is this supposed to sound like? Come on. Meow! Meow! Oh, fuck. I she just goes, meow! Meow! <laughs> Lily, have you never meowed <laughs> once in your life? Have no. you never gone, meow? Well, meow yeah. is something else. I've done meows before, but. Meow! Yeah. Did Zoe just <laughs> die? Meow! <laughs> meow! 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 Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll get her. I'll get it next time. Not I'm sure you do. Is this a uh, Indo man? Ooh. Yes, yeah. this is Indo man. Hello, sir. What's up, Indo man? You got anything Indo to say? You just being an they Indo man. They always look like they have the creepiest smiles with their little. They do have. You've been asked by the leaders of Vanguard to watch over all districts of the city for its protection. That includes your district. Oh. Look, I get you got your job, but Lin really won't be happy if he sees you walking around our territory. Okay. Oh boy, Lin. You've been really? reduced to bouncer, Axel. Oh. That's all. <laughs> mirror. Mirror. Oh, well, series is here. Have any of you guys seen Ray? Which one is that again? Mirror raises an eyebrow. The one that can multiply. Oh, I haven't seen them. Hmm. Mirror socializing. Hey, I'm yo. proud of Mirror will be them. talking to some of the outcasts. I used to like the ring. I'm just starting to hate it. I'm waiting for dialogue to load. I, none of us have it except you, Fatur. Because I'm the best. You're God. The best. Mirror! Dude, Thank you. <laughs> Here we go. I know, right? It's doing nothing for my hair. Serious size. I think your hair is the least of my wor- What? I think your hair is the least of my worries with it. A storm for over two months? That's not normal. I agree that's not normal, but that's actually really weird. I've never heard of a storm that lasts for so that long. How do you think- Stop talking, Giga. Oh, Giga. <laughs> oh, buddy. Aww. Hey, buddy. This fucking mess. Oh, god damn it. Hey, Axel's been taking, talking to that guard for a while now. Do you think that everything is okay over there? We're not in trouble or anything, are we? I hope we're not in trouble again. I don't know what we would have done wrong. We've been running our own business for a while now. Hey, why are you covering your ears, Mary? You're making my head split! I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Your mutters to himself. Man, we all have problems. <laughs> oh, you just found this place with little misfits. Why am I so fast? Oh, oh, oh god, kid, you gonna you gonna make me shit my pants again? Anything Let's new see. here? What does the child have to say? Is he Izzy with... would stare oh. at Quibble and laughs. The snake is with two heads. The heads lace each other when the blood runs red and the moon shines full. <laughs> Izzy, don't say things like that. Zalia frowns. Don't listen to her quibble. I'm sure she's just speaking nonsense like she normally does. Uh, I don't I... like what that omen could ever I imply. Two heads. I don't want to fight that ever. And what they they'll eat each other when the blood runs red and the moon shines full. Is he? <gasps> what the fuck? No, I don't want the rain to end. <laughs> I talk faster than Pika! <laughs> Izzy, maybe we should leave Quibble alone, alright? I don't think he wants to hear about your... Uh, strangeness today. Don't you mean a mean thing to say to Oh yeah, to Tink, sorry. I didn't want to get smited. Tink. Oh my god. Ah, oh. Quibble seems nervous as he looks between Zelia and Izzy. What are they talking about? I don't like this. I'm not crazy. They're crazy. I'm totally normal. Completely. See, I'm agreeing with myself. I never agree. Oh that God. makes sense. That's Snake true. They never heads. agree. Snake. Why am I, I so it. fast? Fast as fuck, boy. Teresa. Oh, hey. There's Robert over there. Teresa. 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 Teresa would quietly pray at the shrine. Dear gods of the heavens, continue to watch down upon us and bless our people with the kindness of Vanguard and his people. Please protect us from the darkness beyond and within these walls. She was always my favorite of this group. 
Robert. Robert. Because she's the only one that doesn't seem batshit off a of rocker. But where is Lynn? Oh God, where I is he? If they were oh, to chat so much shit about Lynn, Lynn would be nearby, but he's just not even out. here. Oh wait, I think Wiley, maybe Lynn's still like outside your house. Your still outside your house. Yeah, come on. Yeah. There's Robert. Oh, over you here. mean not outside my house? You mean the little like area? Hold on, okay. Robert's over here. Yeah. How did we not see him? It's because he's, he's in, like, on the back porch. Oh. God, I'm lagging so bad. Hi, buddy. Wee. Hello, Robert. Five years. The man is reading a book. He coughs a bit. Oh, go that inside. Was I love Robert. 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 Where? Close this screen. Oh, here's these two. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hi, guys. Who you want to read oh, from? Everyone is running from Lycos. Someone else can fix it! Not my fault I was pissed off! You were pissed off for a stupid reason! And being pissed isn't an excuse for graffiti vanguard! Leave me alone! Oh my god. They're doing the <laughs> same thing from when we last left them. Two yeah, so Every goddammit! Stop running and just fix the house on the docks! You can't make me! You're acting like a child! Come back here! Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. I kid you not, Cam and I heard this exact conversation yeah, when we left them two days ago. They're they've still... been running this whole time. <laughs> yeah. well, Felicity's over here. Surely, surely she's just vibing. Surely. <laughs> surely Hi, there's no way she's like reading the same book or anything. Oh, we don't know. We think it's just talking Felicity. <laughs> Felicity watches Lycos chase everyone around. There they go again. If anyone asks, I'm not associated with them. That's fair. Oh, was Neb still eating rain? Yeah, most Hi, likely. Nebula! Long time no yeah. see! Yeah. How you doing? Well, I forgot I like to yeah, do you're, it. Yeah, you're Nebula. Yeah. Huh. Bug didn't seem to like rain, huh? Nebula looks up towards the sky and opens her mouth, drinking in the drops of rain. She frowns. Does all ramped water taste like nothing? I love it! <laughs> <laughs> she too still loves drinking rain! <laughs> Did you check the for me? I say pushing you to go there for something oh, we, funny. Yeah, we we're did. gonna get there inevitably, you fucking whore. Bye, right, now we're gonna go the other way. Let's Come go. On. Yeah, now we're gonna talk to everywhere else in the city. You know what? Let's talk to this Indo conglomerate person right here. The guards on duty. They bought to use your pass. Let's find every single one and read every single one of their dialogues. Vix! Oh my god. Actually, I think we should go talk to like Giga and all of them again. No. Yo, I found Vix. Hi, Vix. Vix. Welcome back, vessels. Thank you for fixing that crane for us. She's thankful. Hey, a guard. I bet you the guard says the same thing. Check this out. Oh, shit. Huh. Looks good as new. Good job, to whoever did this. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. What is happening here? Oh, it is yep, in a conversation yep, yep. that only oh. I can hear. <laughs> Wait! Oh, we found one of them. Or there is are that the real a one? A million right there. What? Well, did Ebony oh. lock himself in again? Ebony. Ebony's tower, do not enter. Ebony lives Ozzy is hissing at Ray's suspicious behavior. Harmony tilts her head, tweeting at Ray's actions. Oh, it's nice to see that these two are just conversing. I think we found the real Ray. Is this the real one? <laughs> <laughs> when the hell did that tower get a door? Are they all trying to open the door? Let's see. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? What you doing? <laughs> the Rays are trying to break into the tower with little success. <laughs> They, oh, are they are literally all trying to break down the door. That's funniest one. I like how the only Ray not trying to break down the door is the, is real, the real one. one. <laughs> yeah, of course. You gotta be. If you have a power like that, I guess you just gotta be lazy. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, do we want to talk to Tiana? Yeah. Yeah, as long as you don't ever say it like that again. <laughs> Tiana's such a pretty name. She hates us. Here we go. Why are there a parrot and a cat there? That does not sound like why correct are? English. I thought it's why is. Why is there a parrot? Don't oh, worry, the writer from Mythos SMP is probably a big old dum dum. It might be I... R. I don't know grammar as well. Echo! Echo! Oh, I miss you. Remember when we hung out for like six months together? We should do that oh, again too. Yeah, like, I'm Echo, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. You know, I kind of miss when there were more high up perches in Vanguard. He gets tiring to the fly to the rooftops every day just to get a nice view of the entire place. 
Akko's the only one that gets it. Yeah, blame Lily for uh, botching her original idea Purchase of architecture in this place. are amazing! It's because Cersei. I want the experience! Cersei! Cersei. Hi, Cersei. Thank goodness that child is out of the clinic. I had a terrible feeling the longer I was around him that strange creature he had and oh. that strange creature had mother no brain not one to be found brain thought no at the hotel trivago i'll keep coming up with new slogans for it Marcia, i will reject all of them, of them. Listen, that, keep... you said go to the infirmary that's the, the amazing the knee... I, think, I think it was oh, okay. the raise okay good i thought she was about to say that was the amazing knee slapper that was supposed to bust our kidneys <laughs> It's the race. We we're gonna laugh so hard at that that we would piss our pants. I wait in front of bar. Hold on, I'm inside of bar. They're having me. trouble. I didn't know where we wanted to go. Right what there. the fuck is wrong with you, Marshy? Marshy sucks. I was trying Marshy. to eat a sandwich, but the server is so broken. You're not allowed. Hey, Mia. What? Oh, Hi, shit. Mia. Oh, Mia, I'm behind the counter. Hold up, I can't reach you. <gasps> Hi. Looks like you're back. Expecting more free food. I'm gonna have to start charging you again like the old days, aren't I? <laughs> you stole mushroom stew. I've always Hi, what's up, Reiner? Hello. It's nice to have a job again, even if I'm not always the one behind the counter. But hey, at least I can still serve out some drinks. And these inner conglomerate guards are really helping out the business after their patrols are over. Hey, if only Marshy had a Vanguard burger, I wouldn't be able to eat it. Bro, what oh, do you wait, what do you Coco. want from me? <laughs> Oh, Coco! Oh, Coco's Whoa. still working back here? Yeah. Oh, Coco's right here! Coco! See, bullet load. You fucking... Please. Step in my face. <laughs> please, server. <laughs> server, please. What the fuck? <laughs> this place is getting a little small for three people to work in. <laughs> but, at least we're all happy. Let's go Get upstairs. No, don't go to the top floor. Why? Hey, Lele. Okay. What's up, Lele? That's good, Lele. Reiner seems very happy to have a job back. I'm glad he's happy. Although I will miss spending more time with him, but I suppose we're getting back to returning to our normal lives. Night, That's Jadrian. good. <gasps> Guard. Bar's one of my favorite places to visit when I'm done with my rounds. Got some great drinks in there, and some even it's some even better food. Sorry, I just didn't know how to read for a second. He's gonna get kidnapped. Another oh, the there's the man. No, I wanted to click the card. You wanted to trade. There's the man of the hour. Oh, oh Lin, yeah. Ah! Guards on duty. They bow as you pass. Hey, what's up, Zito? We and all has returned to her work. Good luck to her and to you all. Apologies for her behavior. I you know found... what? Don't sweat. That we should check up on that. We'll come back to that area, but let's check out the tower Trend. in Trenton Anne, I guess. City appears to be rather quiet, don't you think, Anne? Excuse me. I'm beginning to think that dangerous young man woman left for good. <laughs> yep. Don't be stupid, Trent. She could still come back. That's why we are still here. Yeah, and someone might lead her here on a boat. <laughs> what are the odds of that happening? On a boat. <laughs> I'm on a boat. <laughs> Oz! Oz! Hi! What's up, Golem? Hi, Oz. Oz will be gathering tools for Lady and Lenore, walking them back and forth. Please tell me they're bickering. Please, oh, no. let me predict this. Lenore is quietly working by herself. Oh. Stolen. Lady will be quietly working by herself. What? Not even bickering. They're not Damn. bickering. No bickering totally expected occurring. that. I think it's because Lenore's just still in shock of the crane. Pass the wrench. She's, she's I'm molding with the right, wrench now. right now. I said pass the wrench. <laughs> I'm working with it. Can you wait a moment? It's <laughs> my wrench! <laughs> and I am using it. I am sensing some tension. <laughs> elevated blood pressure detected. <laughs> Does my elevate my, my blood pressure look that elevated? <laughs> Oh, hello. Oh, uh, cannot wait to tear apart my throat if Florence is- No, okay. Florence is quiet, just smiling, a bit of lids of music. I was waiting to go like, Hey, Lauren, wait, how's it going? Oh <laughs> Damn it! They fixed the crane! Looks so much funnier when it was broken, right, Flo? <laughs> Yo, can this rage stop already? 
It's really starting to piss me off. Oh my god, Linda everything pisses punching you off. The rain. You're in half the city. Dude, gonna start fighting the rain? Yeah, <laughs> yeah go punch it. Go punch the clouds. Salib. Oh goodness, where did the large dog go? Uh oh, he's over there. <laughs> <laughs> you went hunting. Oh, uh, looks like there's a guard in front of the, the mage tower. No, snow. Oh, snow. No. I'm running. Snow. 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 I can't. I don't know why I like the idea that Snow's wearing like gloves in the rain. It's just. Snow. I appreciate it. One day the dialogue will load. Did, Did you, you hear? Melody has officially become one of the cards for the city. I'm so proud of her. Yeah. And Snow is just a character that came a long way, huh? Yeah. Really? You yeah. and Seb. What's up, dude? good. Yeah. Conglomerate guards are pretty official. It's amazing to see an actual set of warriors working together, don't you think? Seb, hi. I guess it's cool. I don't know. It makes Vanguard feel a bit too big in my eyes. I like this city being small and personal. Oh, I know. He's so bright eyed and cheerful again. Jenna! Jenna. Jenna! Jenna! Hi! Jenna! Jenna. Tired slash pissed off as always. Loud. Can never Loud. tell which one it is. Jenna. Jenna. Jenna, we Jenna. want to speak to you. Jenna. Jenna. Jenna leans back yawning. Her eyes slowly begin to close as she falls asleep, leaning against the wall. Oh, Jenna. <sighs> Hi, Finn! Must be some more information in here about these crown shards. I refuse to believe that the only individuals in this world are creatures such as demons. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi. How you doing? Now then, there must be some books of treasures in this place. Amori glances back and notices Finn and Jenna. Oh, you have got to be kidding me! Yep. Oh, God help. God help. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this, this dude does not like Finn. Why? I don't like him. Uh. Supposedly, uh. he's a writer. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. He, he, and that, that, that's not like how Finn he got. He got pretty mad when we said we didn't know who he was. Yeah, he was very uh, pissed. Magnus, he was... fucking, please. Okay. Why is that random guy over there glaring at Finn Holloway? Don't worry about <laughs> it. <laughs> who knows? <laughs> oh, we can check out the mage tower. Which way was that? That was this way. Hamina, there's a path this way. Hamina. Go oh, fuck yourself. I think there's only one here, it's gotta be the guy in front, I guess. Don, whoa! This area's under construction. Enter at your own risk. Is it? Has there been any work done on that hole in the wall? No. No, 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 there's been a little bit. Look, they patched up one hole. Nice. No, oh, Rex, I found peeps. I found wolf dog and Don. Wolf dog? I don't know Don't why. ever call him that again. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, Rex, actually, I give you wolf permission to smite me right now. Smite me Wolf right now, I get permission. Hello, oh Dawn. I, I know on your you. type, Dawn and Wolf. Da Which one do we talk to? Dawn, 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 Dawn. We speak to Dawn first. My bad. Yeah, Fuck you guys. Dawn and Wolf would be arguing with one another, standing near Kane's old tower within Vanguard. Dawn, this is ridiculous. I don't see how it could be. The tower is an active crime scene and a cesspool of darkness. It's a hazard to the city of Vanguard, and it's an eyesore. Do you think the people of this city want to wake up and see that? What is going on here? Damn, she's got some long-ass hair. They glance back at you. Wolf quickly turns to you all. Boss. Vessels. Hey. Apologies if we were causing a scene, Vessels. Uh, is there a problem? Yeah, it sounds like you guys are disagreeing on something. Excuse Rex, he's having some gastric problems. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wolf puts his hands over his hips and sighs. Over. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dawn wants to destroy the tower. I want to protect the city from reliving a rather traumatic experience. The capture of Vanguard caused several people within the city physical and mental harm. That tower is a reminder of those hardships. It could also be a symbol that Vanguard prevailed despite the circumstances. Okay, slow down. 
both of you. And they both look back at you. Vessels, you must see that, that the tower is detrimental. A tower can still be reconstructed and used for our benefit. You're letting your personal biases get in the way of that. I hate the edict as much, just as much as you do. But Dawn, a building is not the person that lived in it. And Wolf is right, Dawn. We're keeping the tower. She takes a step back. But you must see how... She pauses before sighing, bowing her head. No, no, you're right. My apologies, Vessels. Wolf. Hey, don't worry about it, Dawn. She looks back up toward the tower and shivers. She looks back at you all. Of course. It's your city. I do not have the authority to make such decisions on your behalf. I'm sorry. It's okay, really. You wouldn't be the first. Yes. Oh. Fuck. Oh? What? Hmm? I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Okay. okay. I will simply trust your decisions and plans. She shakes her head. If I may ask, have you had a chance to talk to Lieutenant Arhos yet? Not yet. But, you know what, I want to send a message to him so we can meet him. A message? Am I... and I suppose you would like me to deliver this message? If you can. She bows to you. Of course, Vessels. Give me a moment. She slowly takes out a notepad of her small pouch in the quill. Continue. Wait, what is your message? Off, sorry, sorry, sorry. First off, we got Tabby. We wrapped that one up. The situation is all dealt with and we don't need to be a priority anymore. She raises her eyebrows. You found her. Now, I suppose it's lucky that she was never returned to Vanguard to finish the job, but... Still, what happened? Where did you find her? Not important. She just, she's not a problem anymore. If you say so. She writes down that part of your message into her notepad before looking back up at you. Is there anything else? Yeah, actually, we made some new allies against the Edict. The, uh, Night Raiders. Processing. I think she's still reeling from the last revelation. Yeah. The Night Raiders. Hmm. I feel as though I recognize that name. Isn't that the group of bandits around Mythos? Yeah, but th they're all right, trust me. If you say so. I'll inform Lieutenant Arhos of this development so that he may prepare accordingly for further allegiance with outside parties. Awesome. I'll give this message to Arhos immediately. Welcome back to Vanguard Vessels, if you'll excuse me. Don bows to all of you before beginning to leave. Wolf watches her go and gives you a small grin and a nod. Is she gonna leave? Give her a minute. Give her another minute. There she we is. go. <laughs> I What's fucking funny? feel like an asshole now. Why? I feel like I need to really figure out how to be a little bit more sensitive, I guess. I get why she's so fucking actually torn up about taking the tower down. Why? She got tortured here for months. Oh. oh yeah. Compared to everyone else who was just in prison, she was tortured. When we showed up, they were just about to kill her. Yeah. yeah. Ah, shit. That's my fault, too. I didn't even think of that. My head's been all wrapped around Tabby and everything else happening. I moved on, but she didn't. It's still a process. Look, I think a compromise is the best we can do. Renovating it and changing it into something new without completely destroying it might be the best course of action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I completely forgot about that. I would have at least been a little bit nicer about it, you know? No, oh, yeah. fuck me. 
Me too. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna be cringing about that for the next week. Hey, Wolf. Mm. Wolf grins at you all, placing his hands on his hips. <laughs> Welcome back, boss and company. Glad to see you all in one piece. You don't hang around Vanguard often anymore. And I can understand that you're pretty busy elsewhere. Hey, Wolf, can I ask you something? Apparently not. You're not allowed. Nah, boss. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you, boss. Fuck everything about you, boss. No! <laughs> I picked my battles then. I picked Fuck my battles Fuck you, boss. He blinks for a moment. Uh, sure, boss. Whatever you want. Something wrong? You, you're doing okay, right? <laughs> okay. You're starting to freak me out. I'm, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Oh. Is everything all right with you guys? Yeah, and everything's fine. All right. If you say so. Can we just ask you maybe like one more thing? Always. Lily is very bad. I don't have it loaded yet. Extremely <laughs> bad. And possibly even. Am I the only bad. one? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay, I can wait for you. Wolf, how much time did you spend with Rowan? He sighs, messing with his hair. He tosses his braid over his shoulder. That's a bit out of nowhere, don't you think? Damn. I mean, I had to go to meetings with the other Supremes. Rowan was always present for those meetings. When I was given a job to assassinate someone, Rowan was the one who gave it to me. So, I've had my fair share of interactions with them. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Ah! What? Seriously, is something wrong? You're all acting a little strange. <laughs> no, we're, we're we're fine, really. Um, it it was nice talking to you, Wolf. As always. We're gonna get caught up in our own heads if we keep thinking about the infection thing. Yeah, yeah I know, but we yeah. have to think about the fact that we have many. Many ex supreme ritualists constantly around us and the city. The thing is, it's hard not to think about. I we guess don't know how the infection works, how it how it functions. It could be a dormant thing. We don't know anything about it. It could be seeping I, its way through the city through I the think cracks. We, just, and we wouldn't even. They've been here for like years. Wouldn't it be kind of convenient if it's only an issue now that we've heard about it? What if it's the type of thing that doesn't become an issue until Rowan how wants about, it to be? How about let's just keep an eye out, see if we see anything abnormal. Yeah, do that. We, we know nothing about this. Yeah, it's not, apparently it's not something that you really find obvious. And that's what makes it so scary. We genuinely don't- what the fuck? What? Huh? This stair is wrong. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm moment. sorry, the stair is wrong! You're in the moment. Sorry. She's trying wrong. to fix it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Kylie, are you bitching and moaning till someone fixes it? Yeah. Here, let me use my Jedi mind powers. <laughs> Come on. It should be an upside down stair facing forward. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. I saw a flicker of a person and I think it was Cat. <laughs> of course it was Cat. Okay. Now, are we gonna try and get back to the moment? What I moment? Think it's that was gone. Pretty much the end of it. That was pretty much the end. Fair. My Whoa! Goodness. I'm Sorry, my powers are so strong I just hurt myself with them. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna head over to Raven Guard because now people are back to being used to having me at that building. So if I'm not in that house and someone's comes running with a debilitating issue, like let's say this one, and Hi. I'm not there, then there's an issue. Fair enough. <laughs> I guess I will go to my house and perch because I can at least 
both like you and I can at least agree that there's not that many perches here. There's plenty of rooftops though. <gasps> Perches are on better. different levels too at that. Perches They're all over better. the place. Yeah, I mean, you scamper okay. up the uh, workshop enough, you might be able to get on that crane. <laughs> be a yeah, pain yes. in the perch. Like that would work good for Echo. That's gonna be a pain in the ass for me. One of the best perching spots was Ebony's Tower, but I guess that one's gone. Yeah. Night night everyone. Wonder what he's doing in there. Yeah, night. 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 Doing Ebony things like I guess. Just swing back around this town sometime. Yeah. Well, night night. Yeah, yeah. You know where to find me. Bye-bye.